What's going on, guys? I'm doing a video response to Grok Fan 87 in his contest that most of y'all are probably familiar with. But before I get into that, a couple things I got in the mail today I wanted to show real quick. This Terry Pendleton autograph that I got from Five Star. Number 99 in the silver ink. It's pretty nice for the Braves PC. And then also picked up this Collector's Edition baseball. It's the uh, gold glove. Award Baseball with the cool gold stitching that I'm hoping to get signed by Jason Hayward. He's doing a signing here in Atlanta with Freddie Freeman in a couple weeks at a card shop. So I'm going to try to get out to that. But Jason Hayward just won his first gold glove this year in right field. So I thought that would be pretty cool to get signed by him. But moving on to the contest. Everybody's, I'm sure, familiar with it by now. Mike wants everyone to basically make up their NFL dream team with five offensive players and five defensive players. The prize is awesome. So Roddy White autograph number out of five. So I really need to win this. If everybody would stop entering the contest, I would appreciate it. But I'd get in the contest either way. Mike's an awesome guy. But I really, really want to win this prize. So I'm going to figure out how to rig this somehow. But moving on to my team. I'm going to do newer guys. I feel like you, if you really could compare athletes from different eras, that sports are evolving and our understanding of the human body is evolving and we're able to be stronger. Uh, PEDs, of course, are helping out. But we just understand nutrition and we understand the human body and, of course, the strategy behind the game just a lot more than we ever have. So... I think if you really were going to put people up against one another, that newer guys would definitely dominate. So my quarterback would be Peyton Manning, best quarterback of all time. My running back would be Adrian Peterson. After this season, I don't see how anybody could argue against that. My wide receivers would be Megatron and Jerry Rice. And my tight end, of course, would be Tony Gonzalez, who is pretty much the pioneer of the modern-day tight end position. My defense, I'm going to go a little bit different with the defense. I think a defense, the most important thing about a defense is their ability to work together as a team. If you just took a bunch of random guys and put them together, you know, they might have been the best single player of their position, but you can't beat a defense that just jives and understands it and is able to react together as a team on the fly, which is important for the defense. So you got to go with the Probably the best defense ever, the 1976 Steelers defense, uh, led by Mean Joe Green, uh, Jack Lambert, Jack Ham, Mel Blanc, and the fifth guy you'd have to pick, it could, I mean, it could be anybody. Um, probably the safety, Mike Wagner. But that was, that was definitely the best defense of all time, either that or the 85 Bears. A lot of people argue the 85 Bears. And then he also went in to pick a kicker, which has to be Morton Anderson. I think the guy holds every scoring record in the NFL. Plus he was kicking field goals when he was like 85 years old. And uh, the coach, with a team like that, coach isn't going to be that important. So I'd have to go with somebody who would just be fun. And uh, that would be Jerry Glanville. So that is my team right there. I hope I win. Um, uh, that is it. If I don't win, I'm going to be really upset. So, I'm going to win. Though. I feel it. I can feel it in this one. But, Mike, thanks for doing the contest. Really appreciate it. And uh, if I haven't said already, I really hope I win. And thanks for watching.